Where do I even begin with that performance? Jared Kennanier not only broke the record for most significant strikes in middleweight history, but he absolutely demolished the record. He even broke it in the fourth round, and he came out in the fifth and absolutely dominated Marvin Torrey as well, not only with his striking, but even showed wrestling. When is Kennanier ever shooting takedowns? Jared Kennanier has only gotten two takedowns in his entire UFC career. This is spanning 15 fights. And it gets Marvin Vittori, which is supposed to be one of the better wrestlers he's faced. He took him down three times. And these are not just like weird shots that somehow got it to the ground. No, these were actually well-timed takedowns on Marvin Vittori. The one that was especially impressive was later in the fight where he threw an overextending right blitzing in. Vittori tries to counter him with the left hand, but Kennedy was on it, changes levels. This allows him to duck under the punch, evading it, and blasts right through Vittori with the double leg. Or what about the time where he had Vittori up against the fence? He's hand trapping him, which is actually something he did very often in an orthodox stance so he can line up his right hand as well as seeing Vittori's left but here he uses it in a very different kind of manner so he throws out the right overhand it gets blocked he's cutting off Vittori as Vittori's trying to move out to his own left very weird how he's moving into the power hand because his corner was actually telling him to move away from the power hand so Kenanir shows his right hand but doesn't throw it this time and gets Vittori the guard up Vittori took the bait, both of his hands are on his left side to block the right hand and that's where Kenanir shoots the takedown open legs open hips, gets the fight to the ground again. Kenanir showed actual intelligent wrestling in the fight where this guy's never known for his wrestling at all. In fact, Marvin Vittori was supposed to come into this fight with a game plan of wrestling. That was the way everybody thought he would beat Kenanir, was through his takedowns and using his Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu advantage in order to win the fight, but Vittori stood on the feet for the entire time and only shot one takedown, and he actually got that takedown, which leads me to wonder, why did he not shoot any other time? The only takedown Vittori shot was the one he actually secured. There was a lot of differences between Vittori and Kenanir and one of them was fight IQ. Kenanir showed wrinkles to his game that showed how much smarter he was than Vittori. At 39 years old too, which is crazy, this guy made a crucial adjustment after the first round because in the first, he got stunned by a left hand as he was moving in with his own jab. He was hurt very badly at the beginning of the fight and it was because he went into the southpaw stance. Now, the reason why he was getting hit in the open like that whether he's moving forward for the punch and then he's getting countered by some of Vittori's punches, or he's kind of standing still at distance in Southpaw and still getting caught in the open. The reason for that is, it is much easier to learn offense than defense when you're practicing a stance. Kenanir's punches look really good from Southpaw, but his defense was lacking, which showed that his evolution in the Southpaw is still incomplete. He has the offense down, but his defense is completely lacking. That's why when he switched back to the orthodox stance, which is natural to him, there he wasn't getting caught as cleanly, and he stayed that way for the rest of the fight. Kenanir getting to Southpaw was also opening up Vittori's jab, which is actually one of his better weapons. When he switched to orthodox, he was able to eliminate the jab by constantly hand trapping, which is also going to allow him to see the left hand much better. His game plan seemed to be to get into Southpaw, throw out the jabs, and try to line up Vittori for a right hook as well as a straight left. But after getting caught, he adjusted and went to the orthodox stance. Actually, what it seemed like he threw away his game plan a bit and came up with something new on the spot. Whereas Marvin Vittori came out to just strike with Kenanir, which is really head scratching because never would I think that Vittori would outstrike Kenanir. That didn't happen at all. But I also would not think that Kenanir would out wrestle, out volume, and out cardio Vittori. Nobody would ever have thought that. That Kenanir launching cannonballs at Vittori's face for five rounds, shooting takedowns, which is foreign to him, and never looking tired the whole fight. Even in his post fight interview, talking to Paul Felder, he wasn't even breathing heavy. There is something about Jared Kennanier's cardio that just doesn't make sense to me. He's never really had crazy output in a fight. He did go back and forth with Sean Strickland a bit. So with this Vittori performance, it has uncovered what we didn't know about his cardio. Kenanir never really gassed out before, but he just has such a low output. We all thought a power puncher like him would gas out eventually, but he's one of those very, very rare cases where he has beyond five round cardio, able to throw over 200 strikes in a fight, while also being the most powerful fighter in the middleweight division at the same time. So he has some of the best cardio in the whole weight class, as well as having the most power in the weight class. And usually for 90 plus percent of fighters, it's a trade-off. Either you're a power puncher or you're a cardio machine. Kenanir seems to be both. And that is crazy because it leaves you to wonder what if he came out this way against Adesanya or some of the better guys that he fought previously? What if he came out with this more heavy aggression, super pressuring, high volume, 
while also throwing big power punches and knock his opponent out? What if he came with that approach to them? Because he even said after the fight to Vittori that he didn't want to give him space because he knows that Vittori's pressure is one of his marquee skills, right? That's something that he really attacks on and overwhelms his opponent with. But he needed to outpressure Vittori and he knew he could do it from his power to back Vittori up a bit. And that's where he's able to carry on and kind of cruise at high speed. And that leads right into Vittori's chin. I mean, where did this guy come from? Is his brain implanted? Like, if you're taking that many shots, around 200 significant strikes to the face, by Jared Cannonier, the most powerful middleweight in the world right now, go five rounds eating cannonballs, I just don't understand that either. Every single fighter in this weight class would have been knocked out by Jared Cannonier if he landed those same shots on them. Vittori's a different beast. Just like Cannonier is a very rare specimen, so is Vittori. I was shocked at all of the rights he was eating flush to the chin. And this guy wasn't even defending them. He was just taking squared shots to the jaw, whiplashing his head. Actually, even sometimes his head wasn't even moving from the punches, and he was taking those. Usually when someone's head doesn't move from the punch, it shows to be a more devastating blow. Vittori was eating everything. Yeah, he got rocked more than we ever seen him in his career. But he withstood everything and made it to the end of the fight. Vittori's toughness is something different, and this has confirmed to me. I don't think anybody would have knocked off Vittori. If Kenanir can't do it with that kind of output and with that many power punches that he landed, I don't think anybody would have finished Vittori. But that is now. The damage that he ate in that fight had to have hurt his chin. There is no way he comes out the same guy after that. He got beat up so badly. There is no way this guy's chin is going to be the same after that. That's the kind of damage that can change you. But I did love a lot of Kenanir's techniques, especially his ability to pull counter. Those pull counters from him were actually amazing to watch. I mean, he was pulling on everything, man. So many pull counters throughout the fight from Kenanir, leaning away from Vittori's punches, extending them all the way through so he can find the counter for himself. Love seeing those pull counters from Jared Kenanir as he was landing them, especially later in the fight where he was getting his timing down. You definitely saw Kenanir's timing getting much better throughout the fight. And Kenanir was doing something very specific where he was giving a look by leaning to a certain side to cause a target on himself, baiting out Vittori's punch so he can evade it and counter with his own. So specifically, he's on the center line, right? So what he does is he moves forward and leans to his right side. That's creating that target on himself, trying to bait out Vittori's left hand as his head is also leaning into Vittori's left hand. But he wants the left hand to come out there. So at that exact moment, he leans the opposite direction, evading the punch slipping on the inside. So he's moving his head from right to left and he finds his opening for his own right hand. He did this multiple times throughout the fight, leaning to the right, baiting out the left, leaning the other direction to find his right hand counter. Or what about this one time where he had Vittori up against the fence because he wants to create that pressure and back him up, but he has to evade a punch. So he uses footwork as well as showing very good awareness on re-engaging and getting Vittori trapped up against the fence. So what he does is he sees the right hook coming and he moves entirely away from it, which is also going to get his body away from Vittori completely, but he is able to defend the punch by doing this. That's going to create space for Vittori to move out on. Kenner becomes aware of the situation and quickly reestablishes pressure to make sure Vittori doesn't get free. Notice how he circles to his own left with those reaching jabs to cut off Vittori completely and box him against the fence. Genius work from Jared Kenanir. Stuff you don't really see much from him. And the way that Kenanir was getting caught throughout the fight was he was throwing inside leg kicks on the opposite stance fighter. But he was throwing them naked, not setting them up too well. And you need to when you're throwing them against someone who's opposite stance. Because Vittori was countering him with the left hand constantly throughout the fight. That was actually the main way Vittori was landing routinely. And this is becoming more of a thing in MMA. This is a new hole in the game where if you're throwing an inside leg kick on the opposite stance fighter, you are opening yourself up for the opponent's power hand. This is because you're kicking out the opponent's leg into the exact position for them to throw the power hand. Famously shown throughout the Dustin Poirier and Justin Gaethje fight, but this one showed both guys doing it against each other. Vittori was landing the left and Kenanir was landing the right when they did this to each other. The most impressive thing from Kenanir in terms of like his technique alone, not about his cardio and about his output and everything like that, but it was more about the wrestling. Taking down Vittori the way he did, it actually brings a new wrinkle to the game that other fighters are going to have to respect. If he's going at you at that kind of pace, with that much power flying at you, it's going to cause you to react to those, and that opens up takedowns for Kenanir. So Kenanir from this performance showed a completely different fighter that we haven't seen before entirely. This guy's throwing volume striking with power punches, 
while also showing pretty good wrestling at the same time, and his ground upon was vicious. Devastating shots, hammer fists, elbows, big hooks. He gets around the guard too very well. I mean, he picks his shots extremely well. If I'm going to be completely honest, lately in the past few years, I've never been impressed with a middleweight as much as I have been with Jared Kennanier tonight. Maybe Alex Pereira winning the title against Adesanya, but we always knew that Pereira had a good chance of beating Adesanya. But with Kenanir here, what he's shown in the cage is something nobody expected, especially at 39 years old. This guy is getting better at 39 years old. The sport is just so different where these fighters are able to just go so far in age, consistently just getting better. We just saw Yoel Romero at 46 years old fighting for a Bellator title. Jared Kennedy at 39 is progressing, looking like he actually could be a bit of a threat if he fights this way against some of these other contenders. Now, I know people are going to ask me, do I think that he beats Whitaker or Adesanya? I don't think so. I think he puts up a much better fight against Adesanya the way he fought here, especially mixing up the takedowns. I think Whitaker is too tough of a fight for him. The fight against Adesanya makes it more interesting, but I don't think he beats them yet. I got to see another performance from him to see if this is a consistent thing. How much better can he actually get from that performance? Because right now he's on a two-fight win streak. Very close fight with Sean Strickland. Domination against Marvin Vittori. And perhaps he gets the loser of Whitaker and Dreykus. I think that probably makes the most sense. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to give this a like. Make sure to subscribe. It was such a crazy performance. Leave in the comments below. What did you guys think of it? How highly do you rate that from Kenanir? For me, man, if I were to put it on like a grading scale, I would say that's an A, A minus performance. High tier, man. That was crazy good to watch. My initial thoughts of the fight was I thought that Vittori would outpace him and actually gas him out and win that through a decision. Kenanir proved to be too tough to get finished. Vittori doesn't have the most power. But for Kenanir to switch it up like that, I mean... It was completely unexpected. And I'm so glad to watch that performance, man. Thank you, Jared Kenanier.